Welcome to Justice Now, and you've reached part 33 of Tips for Black Workers. And this one is about knowing when to call it quits at your job, especially if you are being put into unsafe situations where you can get hurt psychologically, physically, um, or even both. Uh, so in my career journey, I'm uh, in a higher position. And what's happened is that the company that I'm with currently, um, there are several red flags that I've noticed. Um, the first being that the pay is not correct. And I've gone to them multiple times about my pay not being correct. Um, the other red flag was that the job title was not correct. And I've uh, submitted uh, emails about that and it was finally corrected. I'm still waiting to see if the pay is going to be corrected. Um, the third red flag is that um, there isn't, I, I haven't been provided the training I need in order to continue with the job. Uh, so I am looking at this from the point of, well, I'm being set up for failure. Um, there's been multiple things that have been happening, happening at that job. However, um, again, uh, I'm being set up for failure. Uh, the third thing is when I need to use the um, interventions uh, that are approved through that particular company and through the ministry, uh, I am often founding, finding myself um, alone doing the intervention. Um, and it's worrisome because I'm the person that can get hurt. Now, luckily, with this particular um, safety crisis intervention practice, um, there is a method where um, a person can do it alone. Uh, however, I'm dealing with a, a, a client who is close to 300 pounds, and I'm nowhere near that. And there's other colleagues, um, white colleagues, uh, that uh, are available to assist, but are not readily assisting, um, which is also another concern, um, especially when it comes to that point where the client is, is out of control and is uh, throwing items like oak chairs and um, using forks as a weapon and um, and also using other projectiles that can clearly um, seriously injure and cause a concussion. So there's, there's that piece. And then I've already gotten injured um, in several places. So there's the other piece of uh, the benefits not kicking in until six months. Um, that's also another red flag. Um, another red flag that I've noticed is that the um, quote-unquote team that I'm to be working with um, are not um, very respectful. Um, they are not um, willing to uh, take the directives and are doing their own thing. And um, that's also another issue. And uh, another red flag was that I've had many times where I've been unsupported by agency staff as well. And uh, that's also another concern. So with all these accumulations, including um, I see the signs of how I'm being ostracized as well. Um, and this is being done in front of the clients, which is also another concern, because if it's done in front of the clients, then that puts me in more danger, because then that, that gives the clients more opportunity to target their attacks towards me. So uh, keeping those red flags in mind, um, I have decided that I will, um, at soonest chance, soonest opportunity, will leave that position. Um, and this is the reason why I'm bringing this video to you today, is that um, you need to really assess, um, you know, what you're willing to put up with um, while working on the job. 
um, if you find that you can hold out for a little longer until you can get something better, do so. But just keep an account of the red flags of what's going on so that you are aware um, of what your next steps are. When you're going into a job, um, you make sure that you have a plan of action of what you're going to do, a plan of action for if the job goes well, and a plan of action if it doesn't go well. Um, that way you are prepared in your own way. Um, so I had my two plans of action, um, and I will be executing the one where the job is not going well, and it, clearly it's not. Um, considering um, what I've gone through so far. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, I already have one person on the so-called team that is claiming that I don't like her because she dates black men. This is really interesting. And it's very common that um, females such as these uh, tend to do this, uh, where they claim that black women just don't like them because they're dating black men. Well, number one, um, if they didn't talk so much, I wouldn't know that they date black men. And then number two, I don't care. Um, the only thing I care about is are they doing their job, of which to the most part they're not. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I look at. Um, these are deal breakers for me because um, if it means that I'm going to be uh, physically hurt um, and having to walk on eggshells and cannot rely on the team because one of the main things, especially working in this type of profession, is being able to rely on the team um, to jump in and help. And it makes it very difficult if there are certain people that are not on the team if there are certain people that are not there, when crisis hits, you're the only one dealing with it. Um, in that case, if I find that I'm the only one, then I am not going to be a part of it. I need to uh, protect my safety and my health first. I want to be able to come home to my family at the end of each shift. So, um, you know, that's where it's at right now. And sometimes when you just leave from a very toxic place, and you go into another one, you recognize, oh my goodness, this is another toxic area. It's okay, you just have to leave. Um, it, it has, it's not a, uh, it's not saying something bad about you. You are preserving your life. And that's what you need to do is preserve your life. And in my case, I need to preserve my life. Um, because they certainly do not have WSIB. And they claim that we can always... Um, uh, file against a company and sue. Um, however, for the most part, that is not doable because most people do not have the money to do so. And amid the coronavirus uh, situation, um, things have definitely slowed down in terms of um, in terms of uh, interviews, in terms of being able to to. Um, to find uh, another job as readily. So still send out your resumes, nonetheless, amid this uh, corona situation, um, the coronavirus situation, still submit your resumes. Um, do what you can. If you find that you absolutely cannot go in anymore, um, then look at your other options. There's employment insurance um, or unemployment insurance, depending on uh, where you're located, that's what it may be called, or find something that's equivalent to it. Um, do what you can to um, protect yourself. Do what you can. And um, yeah, that's, that's the main thing is um, recognize the red flags. You recognize it early enough, um, then you can um, help yourself and not having to endure that situation much longer and find something else, even if it means finding something outside of your field, because at this point I'm looking at even other things outside of my field so that I do not have to um, deal with uh, getting hurt on the job. Um, 
So yeah, uh, that is the video and stay tuned for more videos.